Hey everybody, just a quick Unity tutorial on how to create never-ending lists. This is something a lot of beginners have a hard time with, and I just realized there are really no decent tutorials on it. So I'll teach you how I do it. It's super easy, but you have to know a lot of little tricks. By the end, we will have these lists that can be expanded forever and then scrolled. So the heart of this is, of course, the layout group. You can do grid, vertical, horizontal, they all work fine. If you are doing grid, I recommend a fixed column or row count, because otherwise Unity will randomly guess. And uh, generally speaking, that's not great. With your layout group, you're also going to need a content size fitter. And these come as unconstrained by default. You're going to want to change them to preferred size. Unconstrained means it's not doing anything. So obviously, you want to change that. Within our layout group, we have any number of layout elements. These can be buttons, pictures, whatever you need them to be. And you just set their preferred width and their preferred height, and then it'll automatically expand the grid, or the vertical layout group, or whatever it is, to fit them. Just to show you again, we're continuing to expand. Of course, you'll quickly flow off the bottom of the screen, or off the right-hand side of the screen, or whatever it is, based on, uh, based on how these things are going to be... Um, expanding your layout group. So you're going to want to put a mask on. A mask is simply an image with a mask script applied to it, and this will hide anything that's outside of that image size. Uh, so in this case, everything that's below the screen is being hidden, and everything off to the right is being hidden. To be able to scroll within that mask, you need to scroll rect. This is simply a, any, any kind of object with the scroll rect script attached. You just need to put the mask value in where it says viewport, and you need to put the content the grid or vertical layout group in where it says content. You can also constrain it in a variety of ways, but I'll let you figure out how you'd like it there. That's really all you need. It'll work fine at that point. Now, one thing to watch out for is if these are buttons, you're going to have a fight between the buttons and the scroll rect. So generally speaking, you're going to want a lot of empty space for people to, to click on. So uh, for example, if you do have buttons in here, make sure that they're like off to the right or off to the left so the person can grab without accidentally clicking on buttons. And that's it. If, uh, if this is still too complicated for you, let me know. But this is really not complicated at all. It just requires a layout group, a content size fitter with preferred size set on both, and then elements that have that uh, preferred size set. Have a good one.